So guys, today is day five on Noah's Ark campsite. Today, uh, we measured all the area for the chickens because this afternoon we're going to buy uh, the poles for the ground, for the fencing. Uh, so yeah, those measurements, they are done. This is a perfectly fine tool to dig the holes. So today we are going to get the, the poles for the fencing, maybe probably the fencing material on Thursday. So in two more days, all the wood will arrive for the chicken house. So we will start with the chicken house by then. Uh, very looking forward to it. There's only one problem. We were very glad yesterday that the tractor came and did also the upper terrace, but it's a little bit of a problem because the ground is now very soft. And we had the parents of Lisa coming over in a couple of weeks and probably the ground will be too soft for them to enter and install their camper van over there. So that's a little bit a downside, but who knows, maybe it will start raining and the ground will get a little bit more hard in the meantime. Let's see about that. So we are doing an upgrade because we used to shower right there, but it's a little unsafe. Maybe with hard wind, the concrete blocks can fall and we want to use those blocks to make a compost place. So we want one, two, three places for compost. So we will always have a cycle. One we are filling, one we are using and one that is processing. So we upgraded a little bit and I made a shower right here now. Simple but good, you know. So as you can see, the shower works pretty good. The drain I made also works perfectly well. There it goes. So we are very happy with our new shower. Good morning, another new day. It's a beautiful day again. Look at this beautiful sky, the sun. Um, so yeah, I showed you yesterday that we fixed the, the shower now. So we can use these bricks again. We're making a compost lid here. Uh, we'll make another one here and another one here. Uh, and next to it, <coughs> we will make a warmery. So the manure from Bowie can be reusable and turned into compost. Look, he's already shitting. <laughs> so, but I will do that later this afternoon. First, now I'm going to cut all the grass here. And this is probably the most beautiful camping spot we have. I will show it to you. So probably here we will do the greenhouse. Look how high the grass is now. I will cut it in a minute. So this area here, we will keep and reserve for people that come here with a tent. They will have a beautiful view. Sun coming up there, looking at all the mountains, looking over the little village. So yeah, we also went to the, to the big shop. We bought the plates for the roof of the chicken house. We bought the poles. For the fencing we bought the fencing materials which was quite expensive but well it's very necessary because we will also have the sheep next to it so they will deliver probably tomorrow too on the same day they will deliver all the other wood that we ordered for the chicken coop and the firewood so uh, yeah busy days look at this All right, guys, I just finished hanging my hammock here. With the beautiful view over this town. After a hard day of work, this is very relaxing. So today we've been uh, cutting the grass upstairs, making some pathways here. Look, this is also a cork tree. They make things that go in, on, yeah, inside the wine, you know, cork. <laughs> So every once in uh, eight years, we can harvest them as well. We have many. This is the biggest one we have over there. And once in eight years, like that tree, for example, will give us 600 euros. At least that's what they said to us. This is one of the chill areas. 
<clears throat> With the hammock and then the beautiful view. I love it. So yeah, we've been clearing the pad there as well. I showed you before how it looked like in the morning. So I've got all the grass here. Lisa put it on on small things for hay so we can give that to the chickens. Looks way better now. Upstairs as well. So again, a very productive day. Uh, I don't know if I showed you already, but they delivered some, whew, they delivered the order we made yesterday. Let me show you. Oh. So today they delivered the poles for the fencing. We've got 215 of them, 10 uh, iron plates for the, for the roof of the chickens. The fencing itself, 75 meters. So, so tomorrow they will bring all the other wood to build the actual chicken house. I also bought some concrete. And to give you an idea, like how much will this all cost you? Because you probably are curious, like how much is that? How much is it actually that it costs to go and live like that and start your own farm or whatever? Well, the the part of Mexi Mexico, <laughs> the part of Portugal is uh, that it's well we, well we are in central Portugal and the benefit is that the land is quite cheap, so you can have a land in between 20, 40, you have like 50 maybe you have like super nice land. Um, yeah, so for the chicken stuff and the fencing all together, it costs us around 2,000 euros, but we already have now the poles for like probably the entire area. Like the, we can fence our garden, we can fence the chickens, we can fence the sheep, probably fence something upstairs as well. Um, but we only have the poles for that now. But in that price is also including some, some round woods that I can chop because I like to get some exercise as well. Well, I mean, doing all of this stuff on the land is already exercise. Uh, because, yeah. So, yeah, that's approximately what it will cost. But there's, like, yeah, the land is cheap. You can do it very easily and it's very necessary in this world. With uh, Klaus Schwab and every, everybody, you know, where we're heading, right? I don't have to tell you that. I believe in, at least I believe, that we're heading to a future... If you are not self-sustainable, you will be, you will have a problem. So, yeah, if you ever were thinking to do the same, then you have two options. Either you start, do a, go to university or whatever, go in depth, uh, so, and finish your school at 25, 26, 27. Then you're gonna start off with a debt. You buy a house because you're old, you cannot live with your parents anymore. You buy a house with money of the bank, you go more in debt. How do you go to work? Oh yeah, let's buy a car. But fuck, I have no money. So go to the bank, ask more. So you are in debt a lot. And it's like a chain. At least that's how I see it. I, it's not my way at least. In this way, we don't have to go to the bank and everything is paid off. We have no zero debt. And yeah. It's, that's one of my core, yeah, it's very important to me to have no debt. Maybe in the future as an investment with something, but yeah, that's just my perspective to it. And in the end, how fulfilling is that life that you then eventually will have? You will have a job and after those long years of study, maybe you don't like it because it's now it became an obligation to go to work because you have this high of a debt. You have to pay off, have to pay off the bills. So it's not like voluntarily that you do it anymore, the job you thought you like. So it feels like a chain. And when people think something is obligated, instantly they don't like it that much anymore. So it's a system, but it's very hard to get out of eventually. So think very wisely before making any of these choices. 
especially buying a house right now because houses in for example the Netherlands where I'm from they're way overpriced and not financial advice but I would not buy any any house right now because I believe banks will fail in the future and what happens if a bank fail PS yes your banks can fail your bank is probably a commercial bank and that bank borrows money from the European Central Bank the European Central Bank borrows money from the BIS you don't own a house the bank owns a house so they need the house as collateral so they might say you have to get out and then you think ah oh, but then I will sell the house and I have no problem uh -uh, not possible because all the other people that before bought the house they went to the bank to get the money but now the bank doesn't lend money anymore so you have no buyers so you're with the, stuck with the house the bank says probably they want to seize it and then the government comes with a very unique plan and they call it the debt release plan and then they will give you an option to stay in the house but you have to follow their rules you will use their app they, they created and they will track all of your expenses you will get a co2 budget you can eat meat but not too much because then you cannot fly or you can but you have to pay extra and all that type of shit it's agenda 2030 it's not it's not a conspiracy or anybody who thinks that it's out in the open you just have to look for it it's written down the people who rule the world they are speaking about it so it's not a conspiracy it's just reality so if you're smart you're going to adapt to it so it's a long story i know it's a long story i know but i wanted to tell you about how i feel and why we do it like this maybe i can inspire and maybe you start thinking about some things start investigating for yourself and yeah I can tell you this, I mean, I don't have depth now. Look my view. I don't need expensive clothes. I could buy them, but I don't do it. Why not? Because clothes, it's materialistic. It goes broke or gets destroyed or, you know, it's, it's, it has no real value. It's all about status and you want to impress people which you actually don't even like. It's just for your ego and when you can learn to set that ego aside and go more to the core I really believe that even you and all the people they will find real fulfillment in nature yes that's right I believe people will find fulfillment in nature being one with the earth the soil they live on being together with their family more often instead of dropping your kids off to school going to work you have to work late so your kids they go to a extra class and then you pick them up only to what to put them in bed or who's raising that your child then right you have to think about that as well who is raising your child is it you or is it the system because at school they have programs and you don't know what's inside of them. You don't control what's inside of them. But the governments do. So if you want to look where we're heading into the future, just look what they teach your children and you will know where we're heading to. Very simple. It just takes one generation to change the whole future. And they're doing it right now. Look at what they teach your children and you will know. So, uh, a lot of talk, I know it. Nothing to do with farming. But it's the background and how I look at the world. And I think it's very important to know that as well. And, you know, yeah, I wanted to share that with you. So, back to the farm. Tomorrow, we will get the, the rest of the wood delivered. We will start building the chicken house. And, yeah, you will see about that probably in the next video. And, uh, yeah, I will cut this video now because it is already too long but yeah i just want you to know that i'm very happy lisa is very happy bowie is very happy we're having a like a simple life we shower outdoors we don't need too much working on the land eventually start growing our own vegetables have our own chicken sheep everything 
And so far, I'm damn happy. How can I not be? I mean, I showed you the view. Listen, when I don't talk. I only hear birds. They're making music all the time. I don't even need music. <laughs> all right, guys. See you in the next video. And in that video, which starts tomorrow, exactly on day seven, and then we will start the chicken coop and I will show you in the next video. So thank you for watching if you watched to the end. I hope you learned something from this. Um, I could go even deeper, but maybe in the next video I could talk about a new financial system that's creating, it's shaping, it's coming. Uh, it's crypto. Maybe I can tell a little bit about that. Not too much. I have a group for that, it's a paid group. So just a little bit of a global story. And so, uh, alright, adios amigos. And don't forget to like, subscribe, tell your family and friends about Noah's Ark Farm. Ciao!